Well, good morning. I am Reverend Christopher Hines and truly honored and privileged to bring your pastoral prayer today on May 26, 2024. Tomorrow is Memorial Day and I've prepared some special Bible verses to commemorate and celebrate Memorial Day. Would you please bow your heads with me? Greater love has no one than this to lay down one's life for one's friends out of John. In Romans it reads, Therefore I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. In Philippians 2 it reads, Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit, Rather, in humility, value others above yourselves, not looking to your own interests, but each of you in the interest of the others. In Psalms 46, it reads, God is our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. In Psalm 23, it reads, even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. First Corinthians reads, Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, stand firm, let nothing move you. Always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord, because you know that your labor is in the Lord, is not vain. In Joshua it reads, Have I not commanded you, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid, do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Out of Ephesians, finally it reads, Therefore, put on the full armor of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. And after you've done everything to stand, stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Today I'd like to lift up all the fallen soldiers that we celebrate on Memorial Day. My stepfather, Bill McNelly, who just passed away, served in World War II. And as that ended, he got called back to serve in the Korean War. It's men like that and women like that have given us this opportunity to be free today, to worship today, to be able to celebrate the Lord on this day. And we just want to lift up all the fallen soldiers and all their families that have given us the opportunity today. And we just give our Lord and Jesus Christ all the praise and all the glory in this moment. And all God's people said, Amen.